Welcome into the channel. If this is your first time here, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch the video. And if you do enjoy it, please consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification, along with dropping a like on the video. It helps out a lot. Okay, let's get right into it. The purpose of this video today is to talk about the HDMI inputs that come on your Sony A80J OLED. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what each of these, how they function, the differences, uh, etc. So we'll start with HDMI 1 and 2. Those two are going to function primarily the same. So once the first time you turn on the TV, you, know, you just order it, you just got it in, you're turning it on for the first time, each of these are very likely going to be in standard format. This is going to prevent you from enjoying certain types of content, so you will need to come in here and manually adjust them. Let's talk about HDMI 1 and 2 first. These two are good for if you want to hook up, say, uh, a cable box or a streaming device, something like that. And if you have a cable box that is not capable of outputting 4K, you can go ahead and leave these in standard format. You're just fine. If you're hooking up, say, an Apple TV 4K or an NVIDIA Shield Pro, something like that, and you're going to be streaming uh, 4K content and Dolby Vision and things like that, you'll want to have go ahead and turn this on to enhanced format. This is going to allow the streaming device to not only output the 4K uh, image content, but it's also going to allow for Dolby Vision. Now, going down to HDMI 3 and 4, HDMI 3, this is where you're going to have your eARC and ARC uh, port set up. So if you have a sound bar with eARC or if you have a home theater set up, this is where you'll want to connect that. And HDMI 4, if you have a next-gen gaming console, you'll want to connect it to HDMI 4 in that case because, as you could see, it does allow for additional uh, different ways to set it up. So just for example, you won't want to make it just enhanced format. This will allow for the 4K, but if you're interested in having VRR, variable refresh rate capability, playing your games, you're going to need to set it to enhanced format VRR. Otherwise, you'd be just fine uh, with enhanced format. Enhanced format Dolby Vision for gaming is pretty much not applicable, uh, especially for the PlayStation 5. I'm not sure if the Xbox Series X uh, allows for that. If it does, let me know down in the comments. Uh, you know, you'd probably go ahead and turn this on if, if you didn't want VRR. But there you have it. Four HDMI inputs. They each kind of do different things, although HDMI 1 and 2 are pretty close to the same. So there you have it. If you have any questions or uh, anything like that you're interested in, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. And until then, see you on the next one.